What is up guys, Cosmic Contender here, here for another video on the 2D RTS game. Last we did was be able to select our units and they are blue when they're selected and we click on the deselect. Okay, now we're gonna be making a building management system. And so we're gonna first go to create a new scene and we're gonna be a node 2D. And we're just gonna call this building mode for now and then we're going to add a script to it as well building mode and we want to have a couple variables so first we want to have an export variable export var then we're going to call it building area this is going to be the size of the whatever our building's uh, size and this will be a rec2 and I'll have a default size, so default position zero, zero, a size of 16 by 16. Go ahead and save that. Next, we're gonna have a variable called query, query rect, which is gonna equal a rectangle shape, not new. All right, after which we want to do how far can build is equal to an empty array. All right, so if this array is empty, we can build is how we're gonna use this array. Um, we're gonna want to have a func raw function and we're gonna do um, Draw rect building area. We want a color of green. So the way to select a new color is we have color and then dot green with all capitals. And there's there's other um, to do the draw rect. There's other uh, parameters as you can see. Um, but we don't need those two, they're all defaulted. So the filled is true by default and we want it filled. And the last one we have, uh, we'll go ahead and save this. It lets me save. Let's go move over, okay. And in our world code, you see, no, yeah, world code, yep. Uh, we do the same thing. Uh, and we have a color of aqua, but we don't have it filled and we give it a pixels, two pixels width. Okay. So we go back to our code and we want to save our scene, build mode. Okay. And then we want to have our building area dot position equal to get global mouse position minus building area divided by two. Okay. And then we want a queue. Uh, our redraw. Sorry. Okay. Why is it yelling at us? Get global mass position is equal to going to be yelling at us about anything right now. Oh, dot size is what I'm missing. Okay. All right. Awesome. So what we're doing here is we're centering, centering the circle on, not the circle, the square on our mouse position. And if we use this current scene to run our current scene, we can see that that's how it's working. It kind of drags a little bit, but it's, it's pretty consistent to following our cursor. Okay. All right, now let's do the query part of it to query like we did with the select, but we're going to be constantly querying as we're in this building mode. We want to get the space. So get world, uh, world 2D dot direct space state. So you're going to find out that this code is very similar to this. There are going to be some, a little bit of changes, but very similar, but we're going to, uh, write our code like this to um, get the reps in. 
So we want query rec dot extends is equal to the absolute absolute value of our area, our building area dot size divided by two. And then we want a var q is equal to, and that stands for query, our physics query. Oh, we're not going to mail it like that. Query uh, and shape 2D. All right. Uh, we want to do a dot new for that. All right. Bar, not bar, uh, Q dot shape. Oh, shape is equal to query rect and Q dot collision mask because like we did with our select is on two and that's going to select any collisions on that layer. And then our transform is going to be equal to transform 2D and it's going to be a little bit different than our code previously. Get global mouse position. Okay, because what this is saying is we're going to create a transform 2D with a rotation of zero and an origin of the position. And that will put our square at the center of where we're, what we're querying is going to be in the center of the mouse position. So it'll have the same shape as what we're drawing and be in the same position as since we centered it towards our mouse. Okay. Then we want to uh, query the space. So can build is equal to space dot intersect shape Q. So that's our query. Redraw. But now we need to check, hey, we want to change colors if the can build is equal to uh, zero. We want it to be green so we can show that we can build. And then else, colon, draw, rec, draw, underscore, rec, building, area, and then color, dot, red, with capital letters. All right. Okay, so when we do our current scene, oh, we have something, oh, dot, dot size, excuse me. And it's a function for an array. All right, stop that. Let's redo our thing. All right, so we're not going to see it turn red. So how do we see it turn red? Well, we need to go add it to our world scene for now. So let's go and instantiate it there and hit run. OK, we see it and as we go to any. We're going to start seeing it turn a different color. OK, we can even have them move as they run across it. It turns red. So this is like when StarCraft or uh, any other RTS and you don't want to build on top of units, that's how you prevent it. So now the reason why we did export is in case we want to make this bigger. So let's say 32 by 32 and hit play. Now we're querying that whole, that basically four times the size. So you see as it works, and we can go and move them around and they'll turn around as they run across it. So that's why we want to do it this way. And in the future, we're going to mess with this color uh, variable on the building mode. So it'll be more transparent and we can be able to see what we're trying to build, whatever objects sprite, whether it's a house or a castle or whatever. And you will be able to see the sprite and then the the Overlay of red or green will be a little bit more transparent and will turn red and green based on what hovers. So that's what's going to be in the next tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this one. Please let me know what I can improve on. And I really appreciate all the feedback. I try to respond to all the comments as long as you have a question and a good feedback. Um, if you did enjoy the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much.